The following is a special presentation of the Crystal Group. the Emmy Award-winning Miss Texas USA pageant. Starring the reigning Miss Texas USA, Megan Ellis. With co-host Jason Feinberg. And former Miss USA from Texas, Candace Ruger Matthews. Tonight's guests, Miss Texas Team USA, Summer Isdale, and the world famous Texas A&M University Singing Cadets. broadcast of the Miss Texas USA pageant is brought to you by Scott Evening Wear. Black tie was never so colorful. By Alfred Angelo, the friendliest bridal shop in town. By Advantage Renico, great cars, great rates, great people. By Bluebell Ice Cream, celebrating 100 years. Your Texas Ford dealers. Ford is the best in Texas.
gentlemen, representing every corner of the Lone Star State, meet the candidates for the title of Miss Texas USA 2008. Alamo City, Valerie Grove, Allen, Christina Levin, Alpine, Mandy Upshaw, Alvin, Miranda Evans, Morello, Tulsi Nathu, Arlington, Whitney Jarrett, Austin, Allison Seal, Bay Area, Nicole Godley, Bayou City, Warren Haskins, Beverly Hills, Michelle Koo, Bear County, Denise Gano, Borderland, Alexis Clark, Brazoria County, Felicia Pierce, Brazos County, Ashley McDonough, Brewster County, Yavida Villalobos, Brownsville, Emerald Kubia, Warrior, Rachel Weigel, Capital of Texas, Lacey Weatherford, Carol, Rodita Adams, Central North Texas, Tessa Renee Reynolds, Central South Texas, Yvette Vargas, Central Texas, Sheena Monet, Central Valley, Cassidy Klein, China Spring, Alexis Curry, Coleman, Caitlin Sabre, Abby Station, Megan Hinson, Colleyville, Grace Mueller, Converse, Noel Weber, Corpus Christi, Kayla Robo, Fatula, Arlene Alvarez, Crowley, Linda Adias, Cy Fair, Christina Gravel, Cypress, Elaine Nadal, BFW, Tavisky Parkinson, Dallas, Jordan Strauss, Dallas Calvary, Shannon McInnell, Devin County, Emily Samari, Eagle Pass, Daisy McBain, East Texas, Savannah Sauer, Hector County, Ashley Rose, El Paso, Brittany Edler, El Paso County, Jacqueline Garcia, Festival City, Sabrina Torres, Fiesta City, Michelle Trevino, Flowerman, Devin Dominguez, Fort Bend County, Crystal School, Fort Worth, Lindsay Harvey, Gateway City, Carla Garcia, Golden Triangle, Angela Ledford, Granberry, Emma Douglas, Harris County, Ruma Pooley, Hemisphere City, Kimberly Dunphy, Henderson County, Ashley Daly, Hidalgo County, Leslie Chavez, Hidden Valley, Mandy Grisham, Island Park, Chelsea McKee, Hill Country, Annabelle Martinez, Hood County, Victoria Munoz, Houston, Brooke Daniel, Huntsville, Kelly Kerr, Katie, Melissa Hawks, Juan, Priscilla Lyon, Lake Corpus Christi, Felicia Chapman, Lake Jackson, Molly Russell, Lake Whitney, Blaine Fisher, Lamar County, Shaquisha Thomas, Laredo, Lynn Williams, Leander, Heather Cox, Longview, Amber Pickett, Lubbock, Lori Malapine, Lubbock County, Sylvia Ashley Sparks, Lumberton, Callie Mitchell, McAllen, Esther Gonzalez, McKinney, Ashley Lewis, Mid City, Lacey Bollinger, Midland, Amy Ingram, Midland County, Alicia Lopez, Nieder, Jessica Gidley, New Brownville, Jasper and London, North Dallas, Sarah Boehner, North Texas, Tanae Parkinson, Northeast Texas, Kaylin Stevens, Orange, Paige Doman, Panhandle area, Laura Cooper, Canola County, Maggie Sanford, Palmer County, Krista Graham, Plano, Annette Falconer, Harlan, Desiree Hunt, Portland, Megan Garvey, Raiderland, Amanda Bologna, Rio Grande Valley, Lisa Garcia, River City, Stephanie Quintanilla, River Oak, Lauren Sinkhoff, Vieira, Cassandra Luna, Round Rock, 
Sasha Briscoe, Russ, Melissa Burton, San Antonio, Ashley Everson to do, San Marcos, Amber Calderon, Shelby County, Keela McSwing, South Central Texas, Hayden Lane, South Texas, Amanda Michelle, Southeast Texas, Brittany Heider, Southwest Dallas, Jennifer Connor, Spring, Michelle Jones, Star City, Jennifer Jimerson, Big Capital, Crystal Wesson, Sun City, Brittany Long, Tara County, Karen Congress, Tatum, Bridget McDonald, Taylor County, Jennifer Pettit, Tip of Texas, Tiffany Atkinson, Tomball, Taylor Brittany, Travis County, Julia Salmon, Tyler, Abby White, Victory Park, Carrie Schlegel, Waco, Elise Bank, Webb County, Anna Rodriguez, West Texas, Amanda Gates, Westbrook, Sheena Simmons, White, Wendy Barber, Woodland, Christina Bond. The vibe continues as the Miss Texas USA pageant keeps on glittering for these messages. If you're driven to save, summer's the time to put it in gear. Weird concept to me. Uh, it is the fourth consecutive year that we have graced all of our presence here at the Laredo Entertainment Center, of course, the women in general. This is the Gateway City, and it is going to be an awesome show. Now, let me introduce to you the lady who has the tough task of making my job <sighs> easier, which is going to be really hard because it's hard to stay focused on the beautiful scenery on this stage. Please give me a warm Lone Star welcome to Miss Texas USA and Miss USA 2001, Candace Kruger Matthews. Hello. Are you sure you're not competing? You look beautiful. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not competing. Thank you. All right. Well, Candace, you know. We have been texting each other uh, throughout the year since we hosted last year. We have. You know, sometimes we text each other about uh, uh, television or the Miss USA pageant. Uh, yeah. I remember I texted you and said how good Meg Megan was doing. Absolutely. Uh, uh, then there was the one text about A&M losing, but I, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I didn't speak to him for weeks after that. Yeah. But mostly we were talking about psyching up for tonight. And I like what I see. 121 smoking hot ladies. <laughs> That's right, Jason. Weren't the girls stunning in their dresses designed exclusively for them by Scala? Thanks so much to Scala for their generosity. They're all here tonight, and we're here tonight because one Texas lady's dream will come true on this stage when she's crowned Miss Texas USA. Throughout the evening, we will spotlight the grace and beauty of our contestants, meet some VIPs, showcase our host city, and tell the young women at home how they can become a part of the Miss Texas USA pageant. Absolutely, and Candace, I see a lot of familiar faces tonight. I see some new faces as well, which is really exciting. But it seems like the one thing that remains the same is that they're all gorgeous, they're all intelligent, they're all physically fit, they're all socially conscious, and, uh, oh, there's one more. Uh, oh, gorgeous. Did I, did I say that yet? <laughs> you did. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> well, it should be an intense competition. They really have it all. Yes, they do. And speaking of having it all, we're going to get some help from the Texas A&M University Seeing Cadets to welcome back our reigning Miss Texas USA in just a moment. Mm -hmm. As a motivational speaker, Megan Ellis spent her year advocating for ovarian and breast cancer screenings, as well as bringing attention to childhood obesity prevention. Her reign was highlighted when she became a top 10 semifinalist at the Miss USA pageant. She has gracefully represented herself and Texas, and we are all so very proud of her. Ladies and gentlemen, Megan Ellis.
handsome year as Miss Texas USA that has led her all the way back here to Laredo. She and all of our contestants are having a blast. Months of preparation have led to a very full and exciting week of fun and competition for all of our Texas beauties. Let's take a look. The contestants showcased their physical fitness as they competed in the preliminary show in their pageant swimsuits provided by Everything But Water. The preliminary evening gown presentation allowed each of our contestants to dazzle the judges with her own personal style, modeling gowns of their own choice. Each of these young women was also given the opportunity to express her intelligence, personality, and poise while being interviewed by our panel of distinguished judges. Ladies and gentlemen, please take one final look at all of our 121 beautiful contestants. Looking good. And on the flip side, we will reveal the 15 semifinalists. Having a beautiful smile is not just for celebrities anymore. At Smile Texas. 2008. I'm Jason Feinberg, and I am joined by a very tense group of young women who are about to find out which 15 of them have made the first cut. Now, prior to tonight's telecast, our judges scored all 121 contestants in preliminary swimsuit, evening gown, and interview competitions. Our auditors have tabulated those scores to confirm which contestants will keep on keeping on. Okay, so may I have the card, please? Thank you very much. And here are the results in random order, your top 15. Let's get things started with Miss Travis County, Julia Salmon. Julia once went on a 47 mile hiking trip in Wyoming with a 65 pound backpack. One of her strongest talents is public speaking. Please join us, Miss China Spring, Alexis Curry. Alexis has dreams of becoming a broadcaster like her favorite celebrity, Katie Couric. She founded an organization that collects hats for children who have lost their hair to chemotherapy. Keep your cool, because you're next, Miss Webb County, Ana Rodriguez. Ana is an avid volleyball player, winning all city and all state awards in high school and all conference honors and scholarships in college. We're keen for you, Miss Fort Bend County, Crystal Stewart. An entrepreneur and business owner, Crystal initiated a character development program for adolescents. She has competed in the Junior Olympics as a hurdle and relay runner. Help me welcome Miss Tomball, Taylor Britton. Taylor would love to work for a magazine or modeling agency in New York. Her friends claim that she is abnormally responsible. Let's keep plugging away with Miss North Texas, Tanae Tarkenton. Tanae is double majoring in education and psychology and plans to work with children. She shares family ties with NFL great Fran Tarkenton. Next is Miss River Oaks, Lauren Sapa. Lauren won the 2000 Arabian Horse Association Youth Nationals after years of training. Her dream is to win at the final table of the World Poker Championship. We're halfway there. Miss Alamo City, Valerie Pro. While pursuing a degree in communication, Valerie works as a sales associate at a clothing boutique. She is a budding golf pro and enjoys Latin ballroom dancing. Now it's your turn, Miss Austin Allison Seal. Allison plans to go to graduate school to study public relations. Her fondest wish is to be greeted at her front door by the Publishers Clearinghouse Prize Patrol. Join these other beauties, Miss Mid-Cities, Lacey Bollinger. Lacey is studying communications and sports broadcasting in hopes of becoming a television journalist. She was proud to be the only female sports broadcaster on our school's sports network. 
we have to have you, Miss Houston Brooke Daniels. Brooke's ambition is to become a school psychologist and help children with learning disabilities. One of her personal goals is to participate in a triathlon. You're not dreaming, it's really you, Miss Lumberton Kelly Mitchell. Kelly's future goals include receiving her degree in criminal justice and assisting women and children with legal needs. She would like to eventually marry and have four children. Boogie on down, Miss Lake Corpus Christi, Felicia Chapa. Felicia's most treasured possession is a pearl necklace that was a gift from her grandfather to her grandmother when he went off to war. She is a huge San Antonio Spurs fan. You're out of sight, Miss Fort Worth, Lindsay Harvey. Lindsay is an account executive with CBS Radio and the Texas Rangers Radio Network. If given the chance, she would gladly step into the shoes of Oprah Winfrey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, unbelievable. We have a tie for the 15th and 16th spot. There's going to be 16 semifinalists, so here we go with the last two names. Dance on over, Miss Southeast Texas, Brittany Tyner. During her time in college, Brittany has worked with Ronald McDonald House Charities. On the lighter side, she does a great impersonation of Forrest Gump. All right, one spot remaining. And it's yours, Miss DFW, Tavisty Tarkenden. Tavisty will be completing her teacher certification so she can teach high school biology. She is sharing this year's pageant experience with her sister, Tanae. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the 16 lucky ladies who will continue on to buy for the title of Miss Texas USA. is an amazing group. It had to be brutal for the judges to narrow that field of contestants. And we got 16 out of it instead of just 15. I'm joined now by Summer Isdell, your reigning Miss Texas Teen USA. And Summer, this is really a talented and interesting group. Of the top 16, 11 are college students, one is entering college this year, and four have already earned their bachelor's degrees. While several of them hope for a career in the media, three of them are already working in TV or radio. One is a business owner, one is in real estate sales, and one is beginning a teaching internship. We have a Latin Dance Award winner who is also a published poet. Three of the ladies are champion volleyball players. There are two who enjoy deep sea fishing, and we even have a skydiver in the bunch. <laughs> you know, Summer, we're both fortunate to know what it feels like to be called to the semifinals. What was going through your head when you were preparing for the swimsuit competition? Oh my gosh, it's an overwhelming experience. I mean, feeling you're nervous but excited at the same time. You really just want to get out there and do your thing. Of course. Well, I know these girls are absolutely thrilled, and I know that you have something to be thrilled about yourself. Tell us what you have coming up. I do. I have Miss Teen USA August 24th live on NBC in Pasadena, California, and hopefully I'll bring Texas back the crown. We know you're going to make us all proud. We'll be cheering for you. And I know I can speak for Summer when I say that serving as a title holder in the Miss Texas USA pageant was and always will be one of the most memorable and magical years of my life. If you would like to be a part of the excitement of this pageant or the Miss Texas Teen USA pageant and you're between the ages of 14 and 25 just log on to our website at MissTexasUSA.com. Jason? All right thank you ladies. Although the contestants may look stunning in your eyes the people that they really have to impress tonight are our distinguished judges. So let's meet this dynamic group of people right now. Miss Texas USA 1994 and top six at Miss USA Christine Friedel McDonald spent three years as a courtside reporter for the Dallas Mavericks. She enjoys her involvement with charities including Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Charged with marketing Texas as a premier business location, Roberto De Hoyos was appointed by Governor Rick Perry to be the Director of Business Development for the Office of the Governor, Economic Development and Tourism Division. Our next judge, 
Eileen Taylor is the president and CEO of Hat Management Services of Indianapolis. She's a former Mrs. Indiana and second runner-up to Mrs. America in 1992. An accomplished master dance instructor and professional choreographer, Tony Rodriguez has owned her own national award-winning dance company since 1994 and judges dance competitions throughout the U.S. From Inglewood, California, Gil Teal is president and CEO of We Care About You. He also spent a number of years working for AAA in Texas and California. Our next judge can be seen weekdays, hosting the number one morning talk show in San Antonio, Great Day SA on Channel 5. Megan Alexander can also be seen in Josh Turner's country music video, What It Ain't. And finally, a graduate of Michigan State University and a member of Mensa, Ted Thompson, became associated with the Miss Texas USA pageant as an advertising representative to the South Texas Ford dealers. And our official auditors for tonight from the CPA firm Pearson & Pearson of Houston and Conroe, Con and Gladys Pearson. And now Megan and Summer are going to show us a little bit about the outstanding opportunities that our host city of Laredo has to offer. An all-American city, Laredo is the place of champions. From its award-winning hotel properties to its title-holding festivals and events, this gateway to Mexico is one of the shining stars of Texas. Laredo dons its patriotic petticoats every year in February to celebrate America's inaugural president and first lady, George and Martha Washington. The Washington's Birthday Celebration Association puts on a red, white, and blue party with nearly 30 days of activities. Crowd favorites include the International Bridge Abrazo Ceremony, Children's Fest and Youth Parade, and the Jalapeno Festival renowned for the eating contest aired on the Food Network, and the eye-pleasing pageantry featuring Laredo's debutantes. This festive tradition has been Laredo's crowning American achievement for over 110 years. Another All-American tradition in the athletic excellence is Laredo's Border Olympics. With 75 years of experience, this volunteer organization brings in tournaments featuring the best Texas high school talent. Two prominent events feature collegiate competition for track and field and the Men's University Golf Tournament, which is one of the oldest in the country, a mainstay for over 50 years. On another level of play are Laredo's own Championship Bucks, a successful four-year-old Central Hockey League franchise touting two championship trophies. Their home is the Laredo Entertainment Center, and this is the place where Laredo really rocks and rolls. Able to host a variety of events from concerts, conferences, trade shows, and family shows, the LEC has the flexibility to do it all. Stay right there. You don't want to miss the Everything But Water Swimsuit Competition. girls have been up to while here in the Gateway City. The Miss Texas USA contestants began arriving into Laredo last Sunday morning at their headquarters, the Holiday Inn Civic Center. Whatever the ladies were doing, relaxing and sunning in the swimming pool, exercising in the workout facility, or staying connected to home using the high-speed wireless internet, they soon discovered that the Holiday Inn has everything they need. As the contestants arrived, they received their official pageant sashes, their hair care and styling products from Goldwell, their competition shoes from Federico Leone Footwear, their fabulous opening number dresses from Scala Evening Wear, and their official Miss Texas USA swimwear from Everything But Water. The big production numbers you see here this evening don't happen overnight. Production rehearsals began bright and early on Monday the girls started getting to know each other and having fun taking it to the max on stage. Thanks to the talents of choreographer extraordinaire Kent Parham, all of our contestants made sure that they had their dancing queen moves down perfectly. It took seven days to transform the hockey arena at the Laredo Entertainment Center into the glamorous disco setting that you see tonight. Then, 
During Friday night's preliminary competition, some special awards were announced. This year, Miss Photogenic is... We have a tie. Miss Alamo City, USA, Valerie Pro, and, and Miss Houston, USA, Brooke Daniels. And your 2008 Everything But Water Swimsuit winner is Miss Fort Bend County, USA, Crystal Stewart. So this year's Miss Congeniality for 2008, Miss Westlake, Gina Simmons. Congratulations to them. You know, the weather in South Texas isn't the only thing that's hot. Right now, here are your top 16 semifinalists in stylish shoes by Federico Leone and the summer's hottest swimwear, courtesy of Everything But Water. And with the addition of Just Add Water stores, Everything But Water now boasts 14 Texas locations. So let's kick it off with Travis County, Julia Salmon. China Spring, Alexis Curry. Webb County, Ana Rodriguez. Fort Bend County, Crystal Stewart. River Oaks, Lauren Sakoff. North Texas, Tanae Tarkenton. River Oaks, Lauren Sapa.
Mexico City, Valerie Pro. Allison Seal. Mid-Cities, Lacey Bollinger. Christy, Felicia, Chapa. Texas, Brittany Tyner.
DFW, Tavisty Tarkenton. competition. What do you think, Texas? What an impressive group of ladies and what sizzling swimwear and shoes. The style showcased at the Miss Texas USA pageant over the years have certainly changed. But one thing hasn't, the ladies' commitment to physical fitness. The contestants always look dynamite. Speaking of, the hospitality here in Laredo is second to none, and it's all due to the great restaurants and hotel accommodations. See for yourself. During our week here, the judges enjoyed a delicious dinner at Alegria Bistro and Wine Bar and another great meal at Johnny Carino's Country Italian. The Holiday Inn Civic Center has been the headquarters hotel for our contestants and our diligent Miss Texas USA staff. Spring Hill Suites played host to our executive staff, gorgeous reigning queens, and show hosts. The exquisite La Posada, one of Laredo's finest, provided a wonderful setting for our judges as well as their guests. And finally, the Americana Inn provided a much-needed home away from home for the Texas A&M University scene cadets and for our fabulous TV crew in which to relax when they could. Deep in my heart, I'm grateful for the scholarship that made my education possible. Thankful for the support that helps maintain our Texas coastline. Deep in my heart, I'm hopeful because when I race for a cure, I'm not running alone. Because with Ford's support here in Texas, our future looks a whole lot brighter. Ford is deep in the heart. Deep in the heart. Deep in the heart of Texas. Texas is Ford country. And for nearly 100 years, we've been bringing out the best in Texas. Having a beautiful smile is not just for celebrities anymore. Texas USA pageant is brought to you by your Texas Ford dealers. Ford is the best in Texas. By Bluebell Ice Cream, celebrating 100 years. By Alfred Angelo, the friendliest bridal shop in town. And by Advantage rent car Great cars, great rates, great people. Welcome back to the Miss Texas USA pageant. Soon we'll have the glamorous evening gown presentation. But first, we are honored tonight to have all of the following leaders of the great city of Laredo here with us. They have been instrumental in making our pageant so successful. We have the pleasure of introducing you to the mayor of Laredo, the Honorable Raul Salinas. We would like to introduce U.S. Congressman Henry Cuellar. Also joining us are these distinguished members of the Laredo City Council. And please meet the executive producers and state directors of the Miss Texas USA pageant for the last 16 years, Alan Gail Clark. Now here's Megan with more exciting things to show us about our host city of Laredo. Before or after an event, Laredo retailers and eateries are some of the most successful in the nation. The Gateway City shopping options abound with the chance to take home a little bit of Mexico without leaving Central Laredo. The San Bernardo Avenue import shop sector is an urban adventure. And in Laredo's downtown, shoppers find bargains on clothing, jewelry, handbags and accessories, electronics and perfumes, comparable to nowhere else. 
Like every American metropolis, Laredo's most visited attraction is Mall del Norte. It holds 110 retailers set up across several acres of space, offering thousands of products and services all under one roof. Fueling the shopper is an easy task with hundreds of eating options. Sizzling fajitas and hand-rolled tortillas can satisfy just about any grumbling tummy. Or for another refreshing option, seafood specialty restaurants are plentiful in Laredo as well. Whether you're looking to fill a hearty, healthy craving or seek a light, refreshing snack-sized taste, the Gateway City has all-American menus or international cuisine to fit the pocketbook and appetite of any palate. And to recharge the shopper, a good night's rest at one of Laredo's 44 hotels beckons. Visitors now have three new reasons to stay in Laredo. The Tesoro Club in La Posada has recently been voted as the best hotel with the best dinner. And the Embassy Suites was recognized for the best breakfast in town. Seven new properties have opened in the last two years, with three more set to be completed by the end of 2007. This impressive expansion gives visitors the option to choose whatever their heart and budget desire, from an elegant accommodation to a more budget-conscious inn. Now, let's rejoin Candace and Jason. Thanks, Megan. If you're watching at home and think you have what it takes to be the next Miss Texas USA or Miss Texas Teen USA, and you're between the ages of 14 and 25, just log on to our website, MissTexasUSA.com, and get all the information you need. Then, maybe next year, you'll be up on this same stage, and the magic will be happening to you. And while the excitement continues to build, let's take a quick look at the very special events that the city of Laredo prepared for our contestants. Pageant contestants were officially welcomed to Laredo with a few words from local elected officials and with rich fusion cuisine prepared by the chef at Alegria Bistro and Wine Bar. Dinner was complemented by a beautiful tote bag for each of the ladies, a small memento for participants provided by the Laredo Convention and Visitors Bureau, Macy's, and Mall del Norte. All-American fun and games went hand-in-hand -hand with the 70s disco prom theme at Hal's Landing one of Laredo's leading arcade and entertainment spots. Contestants were sporting their theme-conscious outfits and getting a little competitive on the gaming floor, making for an unforgettable evening out on the town. Later in the week, the ladies flashed their true Texas spirit. Come on in, join me. At Laredo's Coyote Creek Grill and Cantina, the final stop for the pageant contestants in their week-long stay on the border. They got a chance to revel a little and feast on Tex-Mex style barbecue served with all the trimmings. The city of Laredo has made this week extremely special for the contestants, judges, and pageant staff. And now I'm with some of the sponsors who helped make the Miss Texas USA pageant such a premier event. Jeff Shell and Ali Shell from the internationally known Neil Hamill Agency and Mayo Hill Center for Modeling in Houston. Emil Wolf, Vice President for Bridal Operations from Alfred Angelo, the largest bridal store chain in Texas. And Dr. Rick Klein of Dr. Shiro and Klein, the official dentist of the Stars and the Miss Texas USA pageant. It is our distinct honor and privilege to have each of you with us tonight. Thank you very much for your continued support of Miss Texas USA. Right now, Jason is with our judges to get their take on the show. Jason? Yeah, Candace, time to play investigative reporter. Came here to the judges table to get a little bit of insight on what's going on so far. I'm here with Christine Friedel McDonald. Now, you competed in and won the Miss Texas USA pageant in 1994. Congratulations. I know it's a little bit late, but uh, what do you think of the production at this point of the competition? You know, the Miss Texas USA pageant is always a fantastic show because they've got great producers and television staff that work so hard behind the scenes. And tonight is no exception. I mean, it's a wonderful, wonderful show, and everybody can see why they've won three Emmys. Absolutely. Thanks, Christine. Appreciate it. All right, moving on. Roberto De Hoyos. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? You have traveled all across the state of Texas and around the world. What makes Texas women the most beautiful? Well, I have found out that Texas women are the most beautiful women in the world. Not only because of the way they look, but also for that great thing called character. Texas women have a great character and an amazing intellect. 
That's why I invite everybody from outside the state to come and visit the greatest state in America and see it by themselves. 100% agree with that. Thanks, Roberto. Hi, Eileen Taylor. How you doing? Fine. Good. Okay. So now, uh, uh, you have uh, participated in and judged these pageants. Uh, what do you look for in a winner? Oh, beauty, fitness, uh, the ability to communicate orally, presence, confidence, grace, class. That's a lot to look for, huh? Yes. <laughs> All right. You heard it, uh, folks. The uh, judges have, uh, you know, they've pretty much um, given this pageant 100% of their confidence and uh, when we come back the hottest part of the show the evening gown competition and we need everybody to stay tuned we'll be back this is the miss texas usa pageant hey brides and grooms it's that time of year again that's right the bridal extravaganza at the george r brown save time gas and money meet over 500 companies with everything for your wedding in one place there's fashion shows and honeymoon prizes galore Join us Saturday, July 14th from 10 to 5 and Sunday, July 15th from noon to 5. It's the Bridal Extravaganza Show at the Brown Convention Center. Get $10 tickets at the door or at any Randall's. Call 281-340-7777 or log on to bridalextravaganzashow.com. Don't miss it. Complete coverage of breaking news. ABC 7, where news comes first. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Miss Texas USA pageant. And I'm looking behind me and I see one beautiful lady. I know her well because I crowned her last year, Megan Ellis. And I, I, know, I'm, I know I can't see her, but she has a beautiful dress on and uh, a number with the Texas A&M cadets. And they've been practicing a long time for this one. I like it. Take it away.
Coming up, the evening gown competition. And then, the judges narrow the playing field as the Miss Texas USA pageant returns live from the radio. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the most glamorous segment of our show, the evening gown competition. Each of our 16 semifinalists will be judged on her poise, elegance, and grace while wearing a gown that showcases her personal style and taste in fashion. And remember, this is the last opportunity for the ladies to make an impression before the judges cut the field to only five finalists. Now, sit back and take in the beauty and elegance as we present our semifinalists in their evening gowns. And we begin with Travis County, Julia Salmon. Alexis Curry. Crystal Stewart. is Tanae Tarkenton.
City, Valerie Pro. Seal. Cities, Lacey Bollinger. Callie Mitchell. Christie, Felicia Chapa. Texas, Brittany Tyner.
BFW Tavisty Tarkenton. And one of them will walk away with the biggest and best package of prizes for any state winner in the USA. Check it out. Miss Texas USA knows how to beat the heat. She slips into a hot swimsuit by a cool pool. As the number one source for women's swimwear and resort fashion, everything but water offers the latest trends, largest selection, and an outstanding level of specialized service. Every beauty queen wants a flawless appearance, and our winner will always put her best face forward because the perfect face will teach her all the tricks for looking, well, perfect. Hair and makeup for weddings and commercial and modeling shots. The perfect face. Specializing in fashion and commercial photography, headshots and unique portraits, his work speaks volumes. Arthur Garcia for Select Studios in Houston will capture the images of an unforgettable year for Miss Texas USA 2008. If diamonds are a girl's best friend, then I.W. Marks jewelers will see that the reigning queen is always in good company. The spectacular ring on her finger will forever evoke the image of the crown she wore for a year. Around her neck will be the specially designed, custom-made 14-karat gold and diamond Miss Texas USA pendant. And function meets fashion in our winner's stunning stainless steel link diamond dial luxury watch by Tag Heuer. All compliments of I.W. Marks of Houston. Elegance and glamour are essential elements to social dressing. Miss Texas USA will discover an extensive collection of exclusive cocktail attire, evening wear, and designer sportswear from Elizabeth Anthony. This prestigious specialty store, located in Uptown Park, Houston, was truly created for you. Everyone knows that a girl can never have too many shoes. Colonial Shoe Company will make sure that our winner walks away with a fantastic collection of Federico Leone shoes to go with every new outfit. Internationally recognized fashion stylist and producer Todd Ramos will become her official image consultant to help her define and express her own unique individual style in the latest cutting-edge fashions. Hairstyles may change, but soft, shiny, brilliant hair is always in vogue. Goldwell will keep our beauty's hair gorgeous and healthy with hair care and styling products developed with the newest technology to give long-lasting style that fits her personality. During her reign, Miss Texas USA will be indulged and pampered like true royalty, enjoying the ultimate in hair services and the most sophisticated spa luxuries at an Albert Louis salon and spa, located just minutes away from the Houston Galleria. Let the journey begin. Our winner will be exquisitely attired for any fabulous formal event in the perfect gown, custom designed especially for her. Compliments of international fashion designer Carlos Alberto of Puerto Rico. When it's time for an escape, our queen will be transported to Riviera Maya, Mexico, nestled amid lush gardens and turquoise waters. The five-star El Dorado Royale will be her haven. It's a dream getaway, courtesy of Travel Lifestyles of Houston, the official travel agent for Miss Texas USA. 
and the ultimate prize for our new Miss Texas USA, the keys to her very own brand new Ford Mustang sports car. It's hers to keep from your Texas Ford dealers. Ford is the best in Texas. That really is a spectacular prize package for our new Miss Texas USA. It's every girl's dream come true. And now to tell us more about what our host city has to offer, here's Megan. Retail and hotel activity are clear indicators of a robust economy, and Laredo is expanding in these and other sectors. The city recently welcomed the new Eagle Copper Tube manufacturing plant already in its construction phase. The anchor to this bustling economic activity stems from its number one inland port trade status and its ability to maintain an educated workforce. An American institution of higher learning, Texas A&M International University, is making its mark in the community, offering a host of new degree programs geared towards international trade. Enrollment and graduating classes are on the rise every year. They contribute to Laredo's economy by filling much needed skilled positions within the government sector and in other industries. Laredo's trade experts handle tens of thousands of vehicles either by rail, bridge, or air every day, facilitating transport of billions of dollars of goods over its international crossings and through its airport annually. This commercial activity dates back to Laredo's founding in 1755. Established at what was a passable point along the river, evidence of this rich heritage is ever-present. Its center is the historic San Augustine Plaza and Cathedral. Artifacts of yesteryear reside at the Republic of the Rio Grande Museum, named after the sovereign nation that Laredoans declared in the early 1800s. Today, Laredo keeps the historical spirit of its 252 years alive in its people. With its winning attitude and sunny disposition, it's no wonder Laredo was recognized as an All-American City finalist. Laredo, Texas. The Gateway City warmly beckons visitors to come and try this winning experience for themselves. Experience the best of two worlds in one great place. Having a beautiful smile is not just for... We are so glad to have you back. The intensity here is at a fever pitch. And we have reached the moment when we have to say goodnight to 11 of these wonderful young women. But the remaining five will be another step closer to realizing their dream of becoming Miss Texas USA. Ladies, best of luck to each and every one of you. You look beautiful. All right. May I have the envelope, please? Con Pearson, thank you. Our five finalists in random order. River Oaks, Lauren Saipaw. Houston, Brooke Daniels. Alamo City, Valerie Poe. Fort Bend County, Crystal Stewart. And finally, Ladies and gentlemen, these are the five finalists for the title of Miss Texas USA. Now we're going to have a round of questioning so we can get to know these ladies a little better. This timed interview is going to be press conference style. Our reporters will ask each contestant a few questions so we can gain insight into her personality and background. We'll get started with Miss River Oaks, Lauren Sapaw. Tell us, why do you think you should win this pageant? First of all, it would be an honor to be Miss Texas, and second of all, I've been preparing this for my whole life. 
and so I'm ready to take on the responsibility of being Miss Texas, which is a job. Reporter number two. What would you say to those who feel pageants devalue women? I would say they don't. I would say that I've learned from my experiences in pageants that it only makes you a stronger woman to walk out here and have a better self-confidence about yourself. Reporter number three. What do you think defines a modern woman? What I think defines a modern woman is a woman who's multifaceted, who could take on a lot of jobs. Reporter number five. What is the most unusual thing about you? The most unusual thing about me is that I snore in my sleep. Thank you, Ms. River O. Florence St. Paul. Up next, we have Miss Houston, Brooke Daniels. Let's begin with reporter number one. Give me one reason why you deserve to be the next Miss Texas USA. Well, not only am I representing the fourth largest city in the nation, I've already done so much with my title as Miss Houston, such a short reign. I can only imagine what I would achieve with the Miss title of Miss Texas USA. Um, I'm just a responsible young woman. I would represent the state of Texas with dignity and class. And standing here before you tonight, I am the most responsible young woman, and I would bring home the title of Miss Texas US, of Miss USA, excuse me, to the great state of Texas. Reporter number five. Do you think that people have a negative perception of pageant girls? Yes, I do, but it's totally wrong. Thank you, Miss Houston. Brooke Daniels. And now we have Miss Alamo City, Valerie Pro. Reporter number one. What characteristics do you have that would make you a great Miss Texas USA? Well, I would have to say I'm a very multicultural person, and I always look forward to meeting new people and getting to know them on the inside. Reporter number four. What responsibilities do you think come with being a title holder? Uh, well, first of all, you have to have passion and dedication, and I know those are two qualities that I possess, and I consider myself a complete and prepared woman to take on the title as Miss Texas USA. Reporter number two. What stereotypes still exist for today's women? Well, I think for today's women, there's still the issue of equal pay for equal work, and I think we have proven ourselves over and over again that the sky is our limit, and I look forward to helping achieve that in the future. Reporter number three. Thank you, Ms. Alamo City, Valerie Pro. And now we have Ms. Fort Bend County, Crystal Stewart. Oh, thank you. Reporter <laughs> number one. Why do you want to be Miss Texas USA? You know, I'm not in awe of being a beauty queen. I know that there's job responsibilities with Miss Texas. I would promote my sponsors, champion breast cancer awareness, and promote my Inside Out program. Number two. What would you say to the viewpoint that pageants emphasize style over substance? St no, it doesn't emphasize style over substance. Look at the substance that we have here tonight. Beautiful, intelligence, and class. Reporter number three. As a woman, what is the best thing about living in the 21st century? That we're intelligent, we're beautiful. Look at Hillary Clinton. We're breaking the glass ceiling. Here we are. <laughs> Number four. What three words best describe you? Oh, persistent. I persevere. Thank and you, Miss Fort tonight. Bend County, Crystal Stewart. And last but certainly not least, we have Miss Webb County, Ana Rodriguez. Good evening, reporter number one. What would make you a good representative of the great state of Texas? I am determined and focused and ready to take on the job. Reporter number two. If you had a little sister interested in pageants, what advice would you give to her? I definitely encourage her, not push her to do what she doesn't want to do, but definitely encourage her to do, you know, to reach out and do what she is comfortable with. Reporter number four. As a confident modern woman, do you have any problems asking a man out on a date? No, I do not. Reporter number five. Is there a question that you would like to be asked that you could answer for us now? How does it feel to be Miss Texas USA? <laughs> Reporter number three. If you should win the title tonight, what would you do after being Miss Thank Texas? Thank you, Miss God County, Ana Rodriguez. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you know which one of these ladies will capture the crown? We'll find out soon because that concludes our final phase of competition. Now, as the judges cast their votes, take one last look at each of our five beautiful finalists. Welcome back to Laredo and the Miss Texas USA pageants. 
as we give the judges one final review of our top five finalists. The Texas A&M University Singing Cadets and all of our contestants will help us spotlight these five very special Texas women. <laughs> See who dances the last dance as we crown a new Miss Texas USA. The 2008 Miss Texas USA pageant has been brought to you by your Texas Ford dealers. Ford is the best in Texas. By Bluebell Ice Cream, celebrating 100 years. By Scala Evening Wear. Black tie was never so colorful. And by Advantage Rent-A-Car. Great cars, great rates, great people.
The moment that we've all been waiting for is almost here. But first, a very bittersweet moment as we say goodbye to our reigning queen. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you for the final time, Megan Ellis, Miss Texas USA 2007, in her farewell walk. I've accomplished many things in my life, but I couldn't have done so without some very special people. First, my parents and Leslie. I love you and I am incredibly thankful for everything that you have done to help me become successful. To all of my family and friends, thank you for your constant love and support. Al, Gail, and Linda, you will always be very special. Thank you for this great opportunity. To all of my incredible sponsors, you have each impacted my life in different ways. Thank you for constantly being uplifting and encouraging. I love you all. I must thank my Heavenly Father for His many blessings. It has been a great honor to represent the greatest state in America. Love and blessings, Megan. Thank you, Megan, for all that you've given back to Texas during the past year. We are all very proud of your accomplishments, and we are grateful for the class and compassion that you have shown during your reign. This has really been a fun evening. We're living some retro disco music, right? Yeah. I believe that our judges have signed their final ballots, and we want to thank them immensely for all of their efforts. I know from watching the competition that it was not an easy <laughs> task to narrow this amazing field of ladies down to just one. My stomach is full of butterflies. I know yours must be as well. We're all anxious to find out the results. Absolutely, we all are. So now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment has arrived that we have all been waiting for. The final results have been reviewed by the outstanding auditing firm of Pearson & Pearson. And let me grab the envelope. Thank you, Con Pearson. Ladies, this is it. Someone's life is going to change in moments. We wish you all the best of luck. All right. Our fourth runner-up is... River Oaks, Lauren Sapon. Our third runner-up, Alamo City, Valerie Pro. Our second runner-up, Webb County, Anna Rodriguez. Ladies. The competition has come down to the two of you. Would you please step forward? In just a few seconds, one of you will be named as the first runner-up, and the other one will hear your name called as our new Miss Texas USA, winning the brand new Ford Mustang and the spectacular prize package, plus the chance to compete and become Miss USA. The first runner-up. You know, it's so incredibly important. Yeah, I know, I know. Because, uh, you know, if you were uh, uh, to, for any reason, um, for any reason, if Miss Texas can't uh, complete her reign, then you're going to have to uh, step up to the plate. <laughs> All right, the first runner up is Miss Houston, Brooke Daniels.
Crystal Stewart. Congratulations. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. And because of it, here are your keys to your new Ford Mustang. Compliments of our Texas Ford dealers. Congratulations to you. Oh, I needed this car. I was driving a 95 Ford Escort. There you go. You don't have to worry about that anymore. And we want to thank the city of Laredo, Megan Ellis, and my co-host for the evening, the lovely Candace Kruger Matthews. I'm Jason Feinberg. Thanks for being a part of the Miss Texas USA pageant. Good night, everyone. Texas USA Pageant. Good night from Laredo.